In this discussion, you can see float data type field in brief. In case you missed the previous video related to integer data type, please check link given in description. So first of all, we will use uh, as a result data data dot float and the string will be result. Now we will upgrade module from terminal to upgrade the module here we will use result restart the service with upgrade the module go to front end side refresh the page you can see result will be added by default is a one digit and two decimal points so float field visible like this compared to integer you can see both this one is integer and this one is float so now we will try to check all possible attributes first one is help as you know this is a toolkit after we use read only true now we will stop to upgrade on the restart the service refresh the page try to edit here you can see it's a read only but if you hover the label it will give you a tool tip this is a tool tip go to terminal here you can replace with required restart the service refresh the page try to edit you can see color also changed then after default default is 1.1 let's example refresh the page and create you can see 1.1 one zero because by default is a two decimal if you want to increase uh, more than one that time you have to use one more command is digits equal to but here you have to remember the same index you have to give first tuple the first index as a zero index you have to give a total of digits then after total decimal display from GUSI press the page here you can see so now we will try to try same attributes from xml and go to here trying to override string Full result here we will restart the service along with we will use upgrade command so no need to go to each and every time here and upgrade the module so simply we have to refresh the patch and here you can see school result after that you can also use like read only one refresh the page you can see here read only after you can use invisible go to browser and refresh the page
here you can see it's height again go to we will use required means it's a mandatory field also you can see the color also change of the table that's it for now in case you have any doubt please comment below and please don't forget to like and subscribe see you in next video